And this is also my first pair of Gucci shoes. Now, ano itong binili ko? Let's unbox it together. Please keep on watching. Another video. My name is the Beauty Junkie, and I vlog about luxury, fashion, lifestyle, travel, and most especially beauty. Now, if you are into those things, please subscribe to my channel and check out my social media accounts. And my social media accounts, you can check them at the description box of this video. This is actually my last Christmas gift. My last Christmas gift from 2022. Wow! February, na tapos Christmas gift pa rin. Mga palusot mo, Marta, ha? No, but seriously, I have been meaning to buy this item last Christmas. But it's just that, yung gusto ko from Hermes is not available. And it's always not available. Nakakaloka, magsara na kayo, Hermes, char. And I just decided to let that go yesterday. And I told myself, you know what? Kung wala talaga to, I'll just buy something else. Kasi kailangan ko talaga ng um, smart casual to semi-formal footwear. One that I can use to events meetings, and any event na kailangan kong mag-closed shoes. So, I went to Hermes, Louis Vuitton, and finally Gucci, and it is where I got my new pair of shoes. And this is also my first pair of Gucci shoes. Okay, so, ayan. So, nasa green belt ako kahapon to unwind because I've been at home. I was just home for like five days. Nasa bahay lang ako nagtatrabaho kasi medyo mabigat yung mga work ngayon sa business. You know, start of the year, onboarding new client things. Thank you, Lord. And inaya ko si husband para mag dinner and then tidrit ko siya. And then I thought yesterday, hey, why not? I'll check out our mess again because post Christmas na. And you know, the shoes that I like might be there already. They might have sizes for me already. And pumunta ako. And long story short, walang stock. Walang stock ng gusto kong color. And for the only remaining color, Walang size. And by the way, that is the Hermes um, Oasis sandals. Ang hirap niya talaga hanapin at hagilapin dito sa Pilipinas. So I went to Prada. Okay, nag Prada pala muna ako because I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about their loafers. And I told myself, hey, maybe I might go for loafers this time. Kasi I was looking at buying either the Oasis sandals or Chanel Ballet flats or a pair of loafers. But then for some reason, parang nag-decide na lang ako na mag-loafers muna. I really wanted those chunky loafers, so I went to Prada. I tried out yung sikat nila. My gosh, size 10 na siya, pero mumatay matay yung pa ako. Hindi siya pwede. Because yung mga loafers na yon, they're very big and they're very tall. That's why yung pinaka leather, yung pinaka shoe has to be rigid and thick. And I realized girls with thick and wide feet like mine. Hindi pwede sa ganong loafers kasi ang hirap ipasok and madedense talaga yung paa. So for girls um, like me, well at least me, kailangan talaga mga very flexible and soft na leather shoes. So no go yung mga loafers even if they look really amazing and nice. And even if they fit me, oh my gosh, those Prada loafers are what? Na 100,000 plus! I cannot see myself spending that amount on a pair of shoes. Especially mga sobrang trendy shoes like those Prada loafers. Again, there was this pair of Prada um, sandals that caught my eye. It's a strappy kitten heel sandals. I forgot the name. I'll just put the photo here. And that's around what? 90,000. Oh my god, Prada! Bakit nakakaloka yung mga prices nyo? Ang mamahal pala ng shoes ng Prada, grabe. Well, at least here's a Philippines, I don't know in other countries, but yeah, too much, too much for me. Um, I went to Louis Vuitton and I was hoping to score um, a pair of loafers. And the only available loafers there, na swak sa pa ako, was the Gloria loafers. Picture here. Um, it's okay, pero ang lahas makatita talaga ng style and mukha siyang driving shoes for me. Okay naman siya, it's very comfortable, it hugs my feet nicely. As in, super comfortable. I think I can walk in those for hours. But the style is just so dated. I don't know, siguro may binabagayan na lang to. Siguro kung ma parang mga yung style niya nasa 50s and up na. I know vintage is in nowadays. Fashion items from, you know, way, way back are coming back. But there are some that, you know, are not really meant to be here. Like the style of the Ava Lovers. Come on. <laughs> anyway, so... We had dinner and then we finished around 9.30 and then I said, you know what, let's make a quick pass at Gucci. And pag punta namin doon, mala, parang 15 minutes lang magsasara na sila. And then I looked around and then this nice um, SA, I think her name's Gliza, 
Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yon. Kumale, ilalagay ko na lang yung name niya dito. She asked me um, what I was looking for, and then I told her I'm looking for a pair of loafers. So going there, I knew that Gucci was well known for loafers. That's why I asked for loafers right away. And besides, I am looking at buying loafers. And ayon, alam ko na they're popular for loafers, but I'm not really sure what specific loafers. And then Glyza said, "Oh, ma'am, meron po kami nung um, Brixton," and I'm like, "Okay." And then she showed me the Brixton and she was wearing Jordans and then she said they didn't, didn't have Jordans anymore. So yon, tinry ko yung Brixton and my gosh, ang lambot niya. Sobrang lambot sa pa. And I was like, oh okay, so this is why Gucci is really well known for loafers. Ayun, sobrang nice niya at meron, they have it in my size. And ayan, the rest is history. So alam niya na kung ano yung shoes na binili ko. So this is the shoes that I bought and let's unbox it. Hindi ko talaga inexpect parang ano. I don't know why Gucci wasn't in my radar nung naghahanap ako ng shoes. Buti na lang nag-dinner muna kami tapos nag-browse browse ako sa internet and then I saw like a lot of recommendations at first forum and the girls recommended um, Gucci for shoes kasi sabi nila um, they're well known for bags but a lot of people think that they also make really good shoes. Okay. So this is the pair of shoes. Ayun, buksan natin. You go. I love the packaging. It's giving me Resident Evil 1 mansion wallpaper vibe. Shut up. <laughs> Do some ASMR for you. Ayan. Yung sa papas nila parang ano na. Cinnamite cloth. Kacha. Ganon. Charot. Okay. So this is the first pair. This is the second pair. Let's open it. Eto na. So these are my new loafers and my first ever pair of shoes from Gucci. And it is the Gucci Brickstar. Oh my god, it's so classy. As I mentioned, Gucci is really well known for their loafers. But I wasn't really sure what style. Alam ko si Kat sila for their mules and that is the Princetown mules. Pero yung sa loafers parang yun, di ako masyado familiar. Alam ko si Kat siya yung sa makapal, yung malaki. Oh my gosh, sobrang lambot niya besyo. That is the style. It's vintage. This is the horse bit buckle, and this is the 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 insignia or the logo that Gucci is well known for as well. Ang sexy lang nung itsura niya. Very classy. Walang ka arte arte. Eto yung sole. Yung sole is made um, from leather. Ayan siya. Nung una ko tong nakuha. Sabi ko parang hindi perfect. Parang bakit yung ilalim is Merong mga parang bakit yung mga sides ng leather is parang may mga lagpas lagpas na kulay brown. It felt like parang alam mo yun when they painted this thing parang it was sloppy work and the buckle sort of had like parang mga black spots parang may slight tarnishing and I was staring at these last night and I thought I did I get a faulty pair did they sell me a faulty pair and when I went online and checked out Gucci's website I saw na um, they had this on the website and then kinlose up ko yung sole and then I saw nga okay oo nga the photo of the sole in the website if you zoom it in meron din siyang parang slight na mga it's not really a splatter but it's like um parang it's like this parang kung in-airbrush in spray siya merong mga kapiranggot na splatter parang ganun I can't explain it properly and I realized ginanon siya kasi parang style kasi style talaga siya so they made this thing look um, like a vintage item because this is inspired by the 1950s Gucci loafers which was one of the most popular footwear also of that time. Okay, so this is made from calf leather but it is really soft. And yun yung nagustuhan ko dito. Actually, medyo tight pa siya ng onti dito pero swat naman yung pa ako. And I can still kind of move it. Medyo swat siya ngayon and sabi naman sa akin ng girl, luluwag daw to because this is really soft leather. As you can see, it is very soft leather. And pag nag-size up naman ako, nag-40 ako, as in sobrang luwag na niya. So, okay tong 39. Sabi naman ng girl, lumuluwag daw. Since it is very soft calf leather, nung sinukat ko pa lang siya, ayan, medyo nagka-creasing na. Which is okay with me and I kinda expected it kasi nga super soft siya. But, I'd rather have comfort than aesthetic. Yung Jordan loafer, that is more structured and it's made with um, harder leather. Pero, sabi sa akin ng girl, yun, medyo matigas daw talaga yun. And then, sabi niya, pag malapad yung paa mo, mas maganda talaga yung mga soft na um, shoes. Ayan, so kaya kinuha ko to. And you know what's great about this Brixton shoe? 
is it's convertible. Nakita niyo tong likod na to. Kita niyo meron siyang line, di ba? It's because you can convert this to a Oh my god. Sobrang perfect ito for people like me na who loves just like slipping on their shoes and not wearing it all the way tapos stepping on the back. Just because I'm always in a hurry and I have to get to somewhere. Parang ganon. So yun yung maganda sa kanya. Perfect to sa airport kasi di ba? You are always asked to remove your shoes and parang after you pass uh, through the ang tawag doon yung x-ray and a conveyor belt you can't wear your shoes like in the way. Perfect to kasi pag kakuha mo pasok mo na yung feet mo apakan mo to and that's fine because it's built to be worn like that. Ang galing! So ayun although if you do that all the time ayan magkikrease talaga yung likod niya pero may mga nagsabi may nabasa ko na it's not super bad naman daw yung creasing even if they do that all the time. When I got this, I've worn it, and talagang halata yung creasing niya right away. Sobrang perfect niya for um for meetings, for events. Ayan, pwede sa jeans, sa slacks, sa pants, pants, linen pants, ano pa ba satin pants? Oh my god! Finally, meron na ako loafers, and I'm done with loafers. So yung next ko na would be flats. I I'm still um lemming for that away sa sandals plus. I'll add pa some heels. So, yun. Binubuo ko yung power shoe collection ko. Or yung um, shoes ko. Luxury shoe collection na one and done kind of thing. Meaning, meaning I just buy things to come up with a capsule um, shoe collection and that's it. I don't look at, you know, collecting so much. Yung enough lang and yung classics lang na pwede kong suotin kahit saan. So, ayan! I love it! Yeah, so that's it for this haul. So these are my new loafers. I can't wait to style them. And I'll review it for you after like um, some time after I wear it. And that's it. Let me know if you have Gucci shoes and what do you think about them. If you have these, let me know. Kung meron kayo mga tips for me on how to break this in, how to take care of this. And if you have other Gucci shoe suggestions, please drop them in the comments. I'd love to read them because I'm considering now Gucci as one of my um, go-to brands for shoes. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you like this video. Don't forget to follow my social media accounts. Visit my blog, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Bashies!